In this tutorial, we'd like to show you how to work with the Waldorf 2 pole filter. The input is connected with an audio source, in this case with an output of our audio interface. The output of the 2 pole is connected to our amplifier system. First, let's do some basic settings. Set rectifier to zero, turn up cutoff and turn down resonance. Envelope mode should be set to center position, drive to minimum. OK, let's start. Switch on the two pole. The activate selector should be set like this, so the signal can pass through the analog circuits. Use gain to set the perfect volume for the input signal. With output, you control the overall output volume. Try the different filter types and use cutoff and resonance extensively. A bit of rectifier colors the sound. Adjust drive for obtaining aggressive distortion. Use output to compensate high levels. The LFO can completely crush your sound. Choose the low pass filter type and set cutoff to 3.5 kHz. Switch the LFO range to fast. Adjust speed and depth to crush the sound. Try out another LFO range. Set speed and depth back to zero to blend out the LFO modulation. The filter can be controlled automatically by the envelope. Turn down cutoff. Set a bit of resonance. Set trigger mode to envelope follower. Adjust envelope modulation and decay to get the right sound. Increasing resonance intensifies the sweeping. Lengthening attack reduces the effect. Let's try out a beat slicing effect. Set envelope modulation to minimum. Choose the high pass filter with cutoff to maximum. Set trigger mode to gate trigger. Adjust threshold to pick up one beat element. Adjust hold time and decay to set the slice length.
Bringing decay and resonance together creates juicy sweeps. Slicing can also be done with low pass filtering. Now let's create a sidechain dynamic effect. Additionally, we need an external trigger signal connected to the envelope input. We use a 4 to the floor bass drum signal. Choose the low pass filter and set cutoff to 3.5 kHz. Add a lot of resonance. Disable the trigger system by selecting the pulse trigger. Set threshold and hold time to zero. Set envelope modulation close to minimum. Set a bit of decay, but no attack time. Have fun with the Waldorf 2 analog filter. <laughs> 